Hey, welcome back. So, so far we can enable and disable things here, but what we want to be able to do is to delete an item here before we can learn how to edit it. So that's simple since we already have something going on here. Where are you sure? Okay. And then your role is successfully deleted. The only thing that remains to do is to actually delete the role. So let's come back to our text editor here and let's go to the class category. So we have all this uh, get all where we are running a query here. So let me copy this and let's go to delete. I'll come right here. Now we obviously thought we were going to be using uh, post data here, but we're not using post data. So the only thing we will need is an ID like that. So once we have the ID, then we can delete what we want. So here I will say, instead of return, I will say write. And then I just need to add a query here. So instead of doing this, let me put the query in there. And then let's put the query outside so that we can add some dynamic terms in here. But what we really need to add is just ID. So what I will say is delete from, delete from categories. So we just have to, we don't need to order anything. We just have to tell it where ID is equal to ID. Then we make sure we say limit one. And that's uh, generally it. So just to be sure that uh, ID is an integer and we don't get hacked, we can say something like ID is equal to int ID. We are parsing it as an ID, as an integer like that. Okay, so there we go. Delete from categories where ID is equal to ID. And then write the query and then we are done. So delete ID, that's what we need to call. So if I go back to my Ajax now, and this is where we delete the row. So remember that we have an ID being supplied from here. That's the ID right there. Delete row and ID. So here I will simply say, because remember that we have category here instantiated. Okay. So all I will need to do is read from there. I will do this and the ID will belong to data like that. So data ID, and then here I'll just say category like so. So category delete. And then once we delete, we delete that ID and then your row was successfully deleted. That's it. The only thing is we need to return the rows back. So exactly we'll copy this here where we get all the categories and then we make a table from there. So this is why it's very handy to make these functions that do these uh, things so you can repeatedly use them over and over again. So let's reduce that to that. And then we have, uh, let's see, data, data type. Okay, pretty much standard stuff. So let's go back to categories.php and then in the handle result, the same way we handled the disable row, we are going to handle the delete row as well. So I will put uh, exactly this here and put it there. So once we do all that, then we inform the user of the result. Okay, so that seems a uh, standard. So let's delete something here. So I will delete books. So I'll go where it's disabled here and I will just click delete and let's uh, delete. Great, so as you can see, book is gone. As simple as that. Okay, so that's how we delete. Click and delete, cancel, nothing. Okay, good. So now we're going to go into the edit mode and do the editing here. So to do that, I will see you in the next video.